All right, so let's talk about a simple way to troubleshoot your PLC programs with Studio 5000 or with RS Logic 5000. So uh, you need to understand when you're searching tags and you need to look at you know where the, the tag is being controlled from or where it's being used uh, of that nature. So it's right, uh, like it's real simple right up top here, we have some simple timers. Uh, you may be seeing, you, you may have seen these in in your past, or or maybe in your programs or something of just kind of like a global flasher or you know something that would you know control lights for different purposes or control different functions uh, just globally throughout your program. Now in this uh, program, it's very very simple. I don't have anything else but this, right? So I specifically made this to keep it simple. Um, so when you're when you're trying to search this, you obviously can see where things are being fed from and where things are controlled from. But in 90% of programs, you're not gonna be able to see that because they're gonna be spread out and you need to search that tag. So for instance, if I search this tag right here, which is timer five, right? So if I kind of blow this up a little bit, um, come in here, you can see this now. If I search this tag and I come in here and I go to cross-reference the tag, then I can come in here and see all the points that it is, right, where it's located, right? And I can stretch these out as, as much as I want to to find out. Now, the most important thing to understand here is the destructive uh, uh, tab right here. And what that's telling you is it is a Y is obviously yes, and an, an N is a no. So now uh, the destructive means basically if it's, a, if it's a Y, it's saying, okay, it's controlled from here. That means the point in the program where that bit is being controlled is from that point. Now, if it is an N, that is somewhere it's being utilized, right? So it's not being controlled, but it may be used to control something else. So in this nature, so if we wanted to find out where this bit was turned on, we could come right here and it would show us exactly where that bit turns on, right? So just like this one right here, if we come over here, you can see this one, it looks right here. You can see that turn on right there. So it's, it's really, really, really a simple understanding to under, you know, when it comes to uh, you know, destructive bits, right? So now there is a cool feature uh, with version 33 and above where you can see the first destructive reference. Um, you can come over there and see that and it automatically takes you to that point. And you can see the next one. So you have a couple different options, but 90% uh, of, of time, let's just go ahead and focus on the actual cross reference, right? So the cross reference is something that's going to show everything. It's going to show all the the points of contact where it's being utilized, uh, where it's being controlled, and again, the destructive point is where it's being controlled, and anywhere else is been where it's being utilized. So let's go in here and see that. So you can see right here, and you can notice the program is actually wrong here because I have actually two bits. So this actually needs to be right here and let's drag that up there and let's change this right here so now that program is actually right because if i don't if timer two is not on i want timer one on and then when timer one comes comes on i want to be able to turn on our can have the timer two you know timing so just keep that in mind uh it's easy to find something and troubleshoot something so now if i search that bit the very same bit it's going to be different there's only three of them so not only can this be used for you know simply finding out where the bits are, but obviously the main implementation is troubleshooting. So understanding your destructive path is going to be for your bit or whatever you're using. Um, for this nature, let's let's not use the uh, timers and let's use this this uh, global flash. And you come up here; it's only going to only going to have one instance, and that instance is destructive because it's only being controlled. We currently haven't utilized that anywhere in the program because we don't have anything in the program. But if I would do the same thing on this program over here and I were to come over here and say, okay, well, where is this bit right here? If I were to come in here and say, well, let me see where, where all this bit's being used. You can see that I have multiple destructive paths. So this can, could, could control it, this could control it, this can control it. And again, when it comes down to it, there's multiple areas I can look. So I can say, okay, well, here's one point where it control it. And then I can go back to cross-reference and I can say, okay, well, here's another point where it's controlling it. Okay, so I can see that right there. And that's coming in 
you know, I can see this is controlling it right here, right? Then I can look at the cross-reference again and say, okay, well, where is this being controlled again? I can say, oh, well, this is being controlled right here. So I can understand and, and easily navigate my program to find out where things are being controlled. Now, where am I going to utilize this, right? Where Where's the bit being used? I can come over here and see that. I can say, oh, well, it's being used right here. If this is happening, then this is going to happen, right? So I'm just showing you in a large implementation and a short implementation, right? So this is very a very simple set of logic, right? Very simple code. And then this over here is a little bit more complex. Um, you can come over here, you can find out different things about that. You know, like if I wanted to come over here and find uh, this right here and look at the destructive, you can see that there's two, two points, right? There, or there's one point of uh, destructive bit where it's being controlled. There's another point where it's being utilized. So let's look at where it's being controlled. And you can see that right there takes you to where it's controlled. Now from that point on, uh, you maybe have you know dig a little deeper to as far as troubleshooting, but understanding a destructive bit and a non-destructive bit, and you know understanding where it's being controlled and where it's being utilized is a very powerful tool when it comes to searching your programs. So hopefully that was helpful, and we'll see you guys on the next one.